How's it going folks? Welcome back to another episode. Today's adventure. Well, we're starting that good old-fashioned deep spy and banjos here. He's yes, excited. Sir. Look at that. Look at that shirt you're wearing. Turn turn around. We're in the same shirt. R Is it certified? Rev. American? No, yeah, certified American beefcake. Rev. Yeah. We well, got different hats on. We're twinsies, so that's all that matters. Anyways, we are rolling into T Supply. We've got to get some goods. We are gearing up for deer season, folks, okay? We've got to go in. We've got to get some deer kern and all the minerals and some blocks and some salt and some other. I mean, basically, we're just going to gear up for deer season. We might get some other, you know, grain for some animals, stuff like that. But gearing up for deer season, and we're going to set out a bunch of cameras. We've got a whole bunch of new trail cameras and the good kind, the good kind that will actually work. And we are going to basically put out a bunch of stuff for deer plus you know you might catch some bobcats you might catch some you know coyotes or maybe even bigfoot walking around the woods we're gonna go deep into the woods like deep 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 it back way back where i've only taken you guys a couple of times where i think all the giant bucks are living so we're gonna kind of gear up for that set a bunch of new cameras out let them sit for an entire week and then we're gonna review them with you guys and see what's lurking on the property you guys stay tuned oh yeah whole section literally front and back everything around here is set up for deer i think honestly i've got i want to say i've got a few jugs of something similar the to these cane. guys yeah the cane stuff so i don't think we honestly need any of yeah. that but i do need corn i feel like corn is a very like safe bet but then they also what do you think about these rocks you ever spend 13 dollars on a rock no uh, i can't say i, have. I mean it says 100 like all natural beast feast really that's what we need we need some beefcake feast is yeah. what we need what's the difference between like mineral and like corn is mineral for antlers it must be it must be like and then yeah. corn is just for for corn i guess i mean i kind of want to try a little bit of everything just to see like what works, like the, works best. the best what brings in the big bucks so we kind of have an idea of what we're dealing with so oh god that's heavier than i thought beefcake rock here all right we got one rock okay six dollar corn or fifteen dollar corn why would anybody spend more it's just corn right yeah. whole kernel you think they eat whole kernel oh yeah all right i love it get a whole kernel corn Oh, you gotta get some apple crush. Heard that's the deal. You think you think apple's the deal? I don't know. What is what does this do? That's camel corn. Camo? So they don't see it? I thought that's the whole idea. <laughs> that they see it. So how do you work this? This is uh oh what? We take apples and slice them. <laughs> what else do you do here? I like I'm apple. just trying to decide like do you just like I think you just dump it. You just throw it on the ground. Just a small bag of it. Pour product directly on the ground to increase your chances of better shot presentation outside the snake. I mean, I like apples, so we're gonna try some they got sugar beets they got they got all sorts of whoever like i feel like this is an industry we need to get into yeah you're paying 10 bucks for a bag of apples i think it's a scam i think it is too but we're gonna try it what else they so got we got three so here's got... a here's a protein block okay so we've got a, a mineral lick protein block apple corn uh, i'm trying to think of which i mean whatever's honestly cheapest probably this guy all right protein feed block apple apparently deer are big apple guys so we're gonna go ahead and get them this guy too I feel like it's just a different brand of corn. Serious nutrition. Like, what makes this thing 15 bucks? 40 pound recorded Sportsman Choice Golden Deer Nugget. Oh, it's a wild berry flip. We gotta get it. Big berry guys here. I think we'll probably set out like, I'm thinking like five or six cams. So you've got, like, even if we put mineral, I'd put a little bit of corn on it. I think this would last us. You know, maybe like a quarter bag per, per spot or something. So let's see if there's anything else. All right, folks. Well, we made it back to the house. We got to take care of them animals before we go out on our deer slash coyote slash bobcat adventure. We got everything for deer at the store, but we do have bobcat and coyote attracted that we use for trapping season that we're going to use on a couple sets. Maybe like one bobcat, one coyote, the rest are deer. We're mainly looking for obviously deer because deer season's coming up, but we also kind of want to see what predators we got dangling um, around the, the area. So, what are you guys doing? Jerry, what up, Rick? How you doing? Jerry, what are you doing, Jerry? Your, nut, your nuts fall off yet, Jerry? How? That's got to hurt. I feel like that, that can't feel good. Definitely cannot feel good. Jerry! You want some grain, Rick? Hey, buddy. Hey, bud. How you doing? Dale? Dale just wants grain. That's all yeah. he wants. Where's Llama? Oh, Llama's way back there. Carol's over here. Everybody? I think everybody's kind of being quiet right now. Sheep, where's your bath? <laughs> there it is. There it is. All right, we're good. We're back in business. Oh, we just got the little scoop today. This is going to take a while. Oh, you flipped You flipped it over. Flip. Way to go, Dale. Way to go. We're going in the trough here. Yay! Boom. There, Banjo. Got it figured out. There you go. There you go, sheep. Bony apple feet. Come on, everybody jump in. Come on. Come on, you got it. Jerry, go get some, Jerry. There you go, llama. Hey, you're spilling everywhere. Does that taste pretty good? You like that? Alright, uh, right, we got we got llama, we gotta share. We gotta give some to everybody else. I'll come back and I'll give you your little scoop. There you go. Here's another one. Okay, you're just spilling it everywhere at this point. Hey, 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 back up. 
There you go. Karen! Oh, that's where their scoop is. I wonder where their scoop was. Grab that rake and see if you can get we can get this scoop without having to go in there. Karen! How did you get the scoop over there, Karen? Hey, you want some grain, buddy? Bony apple feet. Rick, I already gave you some, Rick. Yeah, I don't know how the scoop landed over there. You think you think pool jet did it? Uh oh, you gonna reach? Oh yeah. Oh, maybe. Oh, 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 band's getting it figured out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now you got it. There you got it. Jerry, Jerry you want some more? There you go, Jerry. Hey, there you go. There you go, Jerry. Just for you, buddy. Llama's not happy. Llama. She's freaking pissed. She's like, what? You you don't grain feed anybody with the trough but me. Oh, Carol. Carol. Calm down, Carol. These guys are freaking nuts out here today. Everybody's starving. You guys act like you're dying out here. Hey. No, Rick. Hey, I'm trying to put some in the trough. There you go. There you go. All right, Llama, come get it. Come get it, Llama. There you go. Why she only eats out of this little cup, I have no idea. Like, literally, there's troughs everywhere with food, but she makes me do this. Anyways, these guys are taking care of. You giving Carol a man bun? What's Carol going on here? Now. Carol. Look at that hair. Carol. Look at me, Carol. Carol, hey. <laughs> <laughs> look at Carol! Hey! You can see! Why do you look like that, Carol? Hey, how you doing? Yeah, she hates us. Anyways, all right, let's go check on Chungus. See if, see if Chungus is alive. Hopefully he is. I'd be really sad if Chungus. Chungus is not alive. Morning, Chungus. How you doing? Oh, hey, how you doing, buddy? He still has some food. Everybody loves you. They got You gotta say hello. What are you doing? Good morning, buddy. You staying cool? Look at the little dirt patch he's made. Stay, you staying cool, buddy? You see, you still got a little bit of food. You got fresh water. You got food. You're chilling, Chungus. Well, Chungus stays killing it at all freaking times out here. I'm gonna go feed the pigs, and I think everything will be pretty much taken care of. I think, potentially. I see both pigs, so we're, we're at least the little guys hadn't escaped. The big guys might have escaped again. Hopefully not, but we're gonna feed these guys. Again, you gotta make sure everything isn't dead. No raccoons. Since we moved everything over to the big pen, all the birds and stuff, we've literally had zero issues. Look at these guys. They're amped. What up? Milk and toast. How you doing? Thanks for not breaking out. I don't think your fence is even on. Try. I trust you guys now. They just said they're in bark at you the whole time. I don't understand what the strat is. You guys hungry or what? Oh, there's big boy. Yep, big oh, boy's yeah. in the corner. He's right about there. Old big boys. He's, he's killing it. Oh, there's the little guy. Hey, how you doing? Hey, what are you doing, Rice? Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Every time. Every time. Oh, hey, how you doing? Come say hello. How you doing? Hey. What? You already have food. I know you have food. I filled the whole thing up yesterday. Don't act like you don't have food. You you have food, and I know you do. All right, go ahead and give her hell. They're freaking out. Hey, to the weast. There you go, Ricky. Did you just do one scoop? Or yeah, no, one scoop's good enough. They're looking, they're looking dumb thick. They can eat grass and stuff, so I'm not like super worried. I usually just give this to them just to make sure they're full of nutrition and, and they're they're pretty much good to go. Their water should be good. I did most of it yesterday. He's getting the old booty scratch on. Does that feel good, Rice? Starts shaking that ass again. Come on, Rice. Anyways, everything is taken care of. We are ready to head back up to the top, jump in the old mule, and uh, well, actually, first we need to get we need to figure out what bait we're going to be using for the coyote and the bobcat. Good old trap trapping season love the scents from that just era just of the that. of the year it's just something about it. i wish i wish smell of vision was a thing because if you guys could smell what we have to smell during trapping season you would be uh you probably wouldn't watch the video so let's see one of them is just bait i don't think it's either one of these i'm pretty sure i put a lid on them i definitely would put a lid on them so like here's trapping stuff where's our bait am i missing something there should be a black container that has like strictly all right here we're oh, hey, trap bait. Oh, hey, who left is freaking steamy? That's a poop right there, son. I don't know who's out here laying. Pool jet. You think it's all pool jet? Yeah, I think so. Hey, what do we do? We got to get that turd out of here. All right. Woo! Oh, God. Oh. When they name it, it, soul taker. it hits you. Like right here. Just mm, look at that. Soul taker. Yeah, it takes something from me for sure. Um, yeah, I don't really want to touch. No, I don't really want to touch this though. There's going to be. That's a raccoon. Or that's a three meat deal. Oh, here's your. That's your juice. That's your hellfire, which is good for. We've caught bobcats on that. I know uh, Trapper Chase got a lot of coyotes with that as well. Do you think we should just throw urine? Down? Do you think we should throw a little bit of bait down? Do you think we should throw everything down? Do you think we should throw some I wool like down? A little bit of everything. He says. Every Here's fox coyote bait. That's some more predator bait. All my hands are gonna reek after this. Hot feathers. Shot bobcat. You want some feathers? We got some feathers to dangle. Coyote urine. Dog catcher. Liquid predator bait. Like that idea? What's that guy? That's a that's a, that's long call. I think. Yeah. That is Minnesota brand predator bait. All right. So, so far I got these two. So you've got a little bobcat. bobcat. A little... That's hotshot bobcat, hellfire, predator bait. I think that's probably enough to get something to, yeah, it just, yeah. I'm out. All right, so we've got all that. That should be enough to hopefully bring in a bobcat and or a coyote if they are lurking in the backyard, at least to just 
capture a little picture of them for them to say cheese real quick. Take a picture with the old trail camera. So with that being said, I think we got everything done, taken care of. Let's go get some trail cameras. Shoo! All right, folks, so we made it up. We're at the top of the hill. You can see my house right back there. This is like the first hill we do, like coyote hunting and stuff out here as well. But we definitely saw some big deer. I remember last year when I moved in last fall, we didn't actually deer hunt this, but we kind of set out cameras and did food and stuff like that as well. And we saw a lot of big deer in this area. The other nice thing is if I'm home and I'm looking out the back porch or the back deck, like I can see up here. So I kind of want to attract deer to here. That way I can physically see them with my eyes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up one set here, you know, another one there, and then we might rip pretty far for the last one or the third one and then then we'll go around the other way um on that side because there's the trail down to the pond which people you or the deer use a lot to uh navigate up and down so we'll pull in there and then we'll have to go deep in the sticks for uh the old bobcat slash coyote um which is going to happen probably out by the pond that's where i usually see um the bob bobcats and coyotes and stuff like that so um anyway so that with that being said we do have some new cameras to try out today and i'm pretty freaking excited boom these are the cameras we're going to be using these are moultrie cameras this is the xa6000 and this is the a300i so this one right here is your simple easy to use very very simple especially for those of you guys starting out in this this is one that literally is like just there and it's reliable and it's good this guy on the other hand this is called a cellular camera we're going to be using this today the perks of this there's a lot of dozens of perks of this guy in particular um but what i love most it literally connects to your cell phone through an app and it will send you pictures you can check photos from your phone so that way when we set this thing way 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 up in the hills for coyotes and bobcats every single day we don't have to go all the way up there we don't have to disturb the area i can literally just log on and see and it literally sends pictures it'll send them as a text email or just on the app you can see them the other cool thing is they actually identify what's in the photo so here you've got bucks turkeys person or a vehicle so it'll sort them so if you don't want to see you know the thousands of pictures of raccoons that you're going to get because that's what we're going to get probably as well if you don't want to see those and you don't want your feed to be clogged by it will literally separate them and and categorize them for you it's called smart tag image recognition there's a bunch of other features about these we are going to be trying these today couple cellular cameras couple of these basic guys for you guys and myself to see we've had issues if you guys are viewers past viewers you guys know our issues with trail camera time and time again they fail us but we're trying something new today we're trying moultrie and i'm hoping that we get some big bucks maybe a bobcat maybe a coyote on camera so that being said this spot right here in particular i think i'm gonna set one of these basic ones for this spot in particular right here i'm gonna set an all-purpose one because it is right by my house i can literally walk over here at any point and grab it this guy i'm gonna save for more of the remote areas that i don't want to disturb over and over so with that being said let's get a camera set out so for this spot we're starting off this is the trophy buck mineral block salt lick type thing i'm setting it here again because this will last a while um i don't have to worry about really coming out and, and doing anything it'll just stay that way when i'm looking at my backyard there's a good chance there'll be a deer there i can kind of keep an eye on them something that'll stick around for a little bit while so we've got a 12 pound mineral block and then we're going to throw some corn on top of that and just to give them some food something kind of you know keep them around but this will actually keep them coming back for more minerals so go ahead and unbox this and we'll go set this down look at that there's already a spot for us Boom, right there in the dirt. We're gonna put the camera on the tree. Let's get some corn ready. Boom, let's get a camera. All right, so I'm gonna be placing this guy right, at, oh, that looks good. That's a good spot right there. So wrap the strap around. Oh yeah, nice and tight, not going anywhere. These guys flip them open, flip it to on, and it counts down to 10 and you're good literally easy as that there's like three buttons on this thing easy freaking peasy let's see what the angle looks like oh yeah if i was a deer i think it's gonna get it one down four to go All right, folks. Well, we uh, we're looking for the next spot. We're looking for a trail, and honestly, we haven't really found much. Now the grass is really long, but I feel like if deer are using a trail on a somewhat regular basis, you'd still be able to see some form of a game trail. But where we're at is actually the pond is right down there, and then like that's a high spot of the property. Like you see my house, I guess you can see it right back there. So we're like on the neck. Actually, we set the last one right around that area. So we're kind of on the next wing over. But I don't really see much for trails. Now I know I'm sure there's some deer that meander 
water down on that little area. That's kind of just kind of a pain to get to that area. This is about as far as I can get with the mule with the four wheeler. I can, if I really want to, I can get through that, but it's really, really narrow, really overgrown, and there's trees that really you kind of have to run over. And I still need to get around to clearing. I know I eventually I want to make a trail that goes all the way down to the pond from this side. I just haven't yet to get the time to do it. Plus, I need a brush cutter for the uh, the old mule. So I'm not I'm not in love with what I'm seeing. Okay, I'm not I'm not uh, overly confident, um, but I feel like down in that area does look pretty good. I'm just not sure, honestly. The other thing is I kind of want to stick these cameras slash feed and stuff. Oh, roughly where I'm going to deer hunt, which I don't know where I'm going to deer hunt. I haven't really done a ton of exploring and like put a lot of thought into it. Um, now that area would be pretty good because it's kind of, it's low ground. You know, the pond's somewhat nearby. I feel like it'd be pretty decent, but I'm not really sure exactly where I want to deer hunt. So that's kind of also part of the issue at hand is I don't, I haven't really planned much. I just kind of want to see what's on the property and kind of get a gauge for where they're at. Are they hanging out in this super thick stuff away from, you know, the house and the pond where we're always at, or are they just like galloping through the prairie? I'm not really sure. Um, kind of tempted to walk down here and set one, but also I don't want to carry all the feed and the blocks and stuff. I can't really get it with the meal. So if it's that hard to get to, I'm probably not going to end up hunting it anyways, or at least, you know, not, not, that's not gonna be my first pick. So honestly, I'm thinking maybe we're gonna turn around, go back the other way and go on that side of the property and set a couple and then maybe make our way up there. And I know that side over there has a lot of deer. It's a little bit easier to access and that's where the bobcats and coyotes hang out. So with that being said, we're not gonna set anything out here quite yet. Um, this is again, this is like stage one for scouting for deer. Um, you know, obviously once we kind of get going, get closer to the season, then I might start dabbling with this stuff over here. But for now, I'm gonna go with the easier access stuff. You work smarter not harder. Choo! All right, so we're actually gonna set this one on the trail. So this is the trail to the pond. The house is right up there. Then the pond goes down there. And this is like a, a nice curve. And it's really steep banks right here. And then really that's like a cliff that goes to nothing. So it would condense them here. I feel like they wouldn't go around it. I feel like they would actually use this. So Banner's got the old apple crush. It literally this stuff just, smells amazing. Does it? Smell that. Oh, I want to take a bite of that. Is this thing, is it good for human consumption? Probably, probably, probably not. not. Anyways, maybe throw it on the, actually put it in the middle so I could drive over it if whatever how much you put uh, you know your guess okay that's probably yeah that's probably looking good yeah i'm gonna throw a little bit of corn on that guy too just to give him a little bit of something to eat as well as lick on hey how you doing perfect let's get a camera out yeah you're supposed to like if you've got a trail you're not supposed to do like a 90 degree you're supposed to do like that that's what the pros say at least Good enough. Oh yeah. Tighten her up. All right, open her up, flip it to on, wait for it to start counting down, and we're good. Camera number two complete. Shoo! Look at these little fresh tracks right there, folks. Actually, it looks like a couple different ones. A little small guy and a big guy. We are, so this is the bridge. I mean, we filmed some videos. We've done some trapping down here. Oh, man, we got the old berry out the today. The nuggets. The big, big nugget guy? Yeah. Big berry nugget guy? So this is the, uh, Oh yeah, there's multiple tracks, little ones and big ones. So it's probably, honestly, it's probably a mom and a fawn is what it is, but that's okay. You know, maybe old Bucky will be behind them. Um, but this is a bridge right here. There's kind of a ditch here. There's actually a tree stand over there that we've, uh, I think we've shown in this in on this channel. And then there's another creek ditch runs that right here. So it's kind of a good choke point as well. And the fact that we already see track, probably a decent sign. Um, one of them looks pretty big, one of them looks pretty small. So we're gonna set out another camera here and we're gonna do the old berry. And we're gonna do, it was kind of right in the middle here like i said you can see the track i always see tracks right here it's always around this corner so i don't know what they do after there's not a lot of mud to see tracks so i want to get them before because maybe they come to here and then they go down in the ditch and they go down in the ditch so i want to get them before i always see tracks right here so we're going to set up another camera right here you guys stay tuned oh my goodness smells fire i bet yeah And we are good. Number three set. This guy is looking at this trail. We spread out some corn and the little berry stuff. My guess, raccoons are gonna come through. 
pretty darn quick. But we got two cameras left. We're gonna do one with the protein block. We're gonna do that on the dam of the pond because that's, again, another pinch point. It would also be cool because we could hunt from the sniper tower if there are some big bucks over there. And then the last one, we're gonna take that cell cam and we are going to go up into the bushes for a predator cam. And that way I don't have to go climb up there and scare whatever animals are up there. It'll send it directly to my phone. And we can see what kind of predators are looking up in the hills. Let's go down to the pond. All right, folks, we're down by the pond here. So this is where we're going to be putting it. So we do have some bare ground uh, here. That way they can kind of see it and, we, you know, we can throw some other stuff here. And then they've got easy access to the pond. What do we got dang one right now? Oh, a little bluegill. Hey, how you doing? That's about all I see, though. It's actually pretty dirty. I wonder why it's so dirty. But the weeds have died off quite a bit, though. That's a good thing. I mean, you can see, like, this used to be all matted, if you guys remember, like, a month or two ago. Completely matted out. Now it's not, not quite as bad. But this is going to be the last uh, deer cam one that's here. And like I said, then we're going to go climb the hills. And I've got a couple ideas of where bobcats and coyotes kind of hang out at least for sure bobcats because we've caught them coyotes are a little bit elusive evasive in my property like i see them and i hear them but i like don't have them patterned i don't like oh yeah this is really like th they like hanging out here i randomly see some tracks like even on the way just down to the pond i saw a couple of coyote tracks because the dogs hadn't been down here for a while um but they're not they're not as dialed versus like bobcat you kind of know where bobcats hang out they're cats they just like hang out in trees and stuff and do bobcat things so with that being said we've got the old protein block protein feed block boom that's gonna sit there what we got going on right there? That's a bobcat. That's what I thought. That is a bobcat. Really? Another one right there. Wait, what? Well, not expecting to be out like in this open. You're right. I didn't even notice that. I was like, oh, probably a coyote or something. That's a bobcat print. See that little? The only thing that makes me, there's another one right there. The only thing that makes me think it's not is you can see some nail marks, which bobcats don't have nail marks. So unless it, that's, it's either that or a coyote pup, maybe. Maybe. It's, May, just, I, it's not a raccoon for sure. It's not a raccoon. It's either coyote or bobcat. It looks it looks like a bobcat. It's just you can see the nail marks, mm -hmm. which if you guys know anything about bobcats, which I don't really know much other than that, they do have retractable nails. So they don't like, yeah. their nails aren't always out. So if you see, I've heard if you see nail marks, it's a coyote. If you don't, then it's a bobcat. I see nail marks, but maybe he was pissed and had them out for some reason. I don't, honestly, I don't know. But either way, we might, I mean, maybe bobcats will come down and check this out. Or I mean, this is a really good trail. This is the only way they can get from this side, which is like the side that's filled with nature. There's all sorts of animals that go up there because I don't really go over there. And then this side, I mean, animals get there, but they usually like all the deer bed down in there and all the coyotes, you know, have nests or whatever coyotes do. Dens is what they call it. It's all on that side. This is the more pasture side open. They don't like to sit out in the open, especially during the day in the heat. So in order to get from there to here, they either have to cross where we put that first camera and then go past my house and then over here, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, or they come right down here. I mean, you can see this. I mean, we, we've we mowed this, but look, like you can see there's a definite middle. Pa oh yeah, right here. Hey, we got more tracks right here. The bobcat or coyote, one of the two. Yeah. So I mean, either way, even if bobcats and coyotes don't necessarily come for this guy, you're at least going to get them in the area. I mean, we could always just take a little bit of the coyote and predator bait and throw it around. It's not like it's probably going to scare the deer because it just smells like something that's dead. It doesn't smell like coyote or anything like that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get a camera out. Give that a smell. Give her a lick. Give her a tongue punch. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh that's the good stuff gross. right there. Well, here's our setup. Camera. I can see the red light's on. It's on. Shooting. This is deer country. Okay, we got berry stuff. We got the protein block, we got the berry cinnamon looking stuff, the sprinkle, and we got corn. But then over here, we made a little predator pocket filled with all sorts of just nasty predator bait. The, the scents, the lures, the actual like ground up meat right here to where something comes in, they give it a look, the camera, they say cheese, bang, got him. Or if it's a deer, and it shouldn't scare off the deer, because again, it just smells like dead whatever. It's not mice. like, uh, yeah, it's dead mice. It's it's not a predator scent. It's just a, to attract predators. So this is kind of a two for one here. And the reason why we're not using cell cams here is because these are all like along the trails where we basically travel every single day. So there's no real reason. I want to save the trail cameras that have the cellular capabilities for up there. Today, we're only going to set one of them just to kind of see what happens. If we start getting some really good footage up there, whether it's deer or predators, then we're going to basically line. There's like, I mean, I don't know, maybe like 10 acres on the other side of this hill and it's all like oak trees which i know will drop like little acorns deer like that and so again this is kind of phase one see what we're dealing with the easy stuff this is easy you see a deer here you go in the sniper tower you shoot the deer you don't have to work that hard so i'm going with the easy stuff but if we don't really see what we like we don't see any big deer or anything like that then that's when we're going to start venturing up in there and setting up the cell cameras to basically do all the work for us so with that being said we're going to venture up there and do a little hiking and find a good spot for another predator camera setup you guys stay tuned we're giving her heck folks look at the pond over there we're way up in freaking narnia taking the old mule out here we crossed the bridge that we've rebuilt if you guys remember when i got the x we re rebuilt a bridge we passed the test 
So we're headed up right now. Uh, this is where we've trapped one bobcat. Is uh, we've, well, we trapped two bobcats on my property. One was up here though. This is this is predator country. It's also not ideal for mule country, but it's okay. I'm lazy and I don't really want to walk. And I mean, as long as the mule makes it there, we'll be all right. So I think somewhere up in these pine trees is. Your house. Oh hey, yeah. Look at that. That's my house over there. You just, I'm, I tell you guys that just to give you perspective of where we're at, not to just keep saying that I have a house. I think you guys understand that at this point. But I own a house. Just to get, hey guys, I own a house. In case you guys are wondering, my name's Andrew Flynn. Nice to meet you. I own a house. <laughs> but it's just to let you guys know where we are at, to give you perspective, so that way you're not like, where in the hell is this guy? So that's where we got it. I think this is it. That's where we got it. This is, let's check this spot out here. So there's a couple good trails. Right here, I know, is one. It's not super prominent right now, and we can go look at, but I think this is where we caught our very first bobcat. Or I think it might have been our second one. I'm not sure. It's got that, like, mossy stuff, though. For some reason, I, I thought it might have been one. Let me just let me give, let me give a jaunt down here. For some reason, I remember it being further down, but I, I also does, don't have a very good memory. There's another pocket over here. Yeah, it wasn't this one. Here's a trail, though. Look at this trail. So there, there is an animal trail here. Yeah, no, you're right. It was back there, but this, I mean, that's not a bad spot either. But this is mainly a predator trail that we're, we're this is a predator cam that we're set up, not for deer. But this is a good deer spot. See, it's, it's, it's faint, not great, but this is 100% a deer trail or just animal path in general. It kind of goes along here. I don't hear any bobcats roaring at me, but then they go like this and then they go under there. So um, this is another good pinch point tip for you guys see like this why there's a tube right here i'm not really sure but they obviously aren't going to go there and then they're not going to go there so this is another really good pinch point but i think that's more for deer travel than it is bobcat i think we need to set the set where we caught a bobcat before because obviously if there's one there's probably more and there's probably a reason why that one was over there so we're going to set it up very similar to how we caught it but instead of setting a trap since it's not trapping season we're gonna set up a camera how's that looking this tree is neat look at that you ever seen a thorn that long look at that guy that's like a four inch thorn that would do some damage there, bud. Oh, yeah, I don't, know, I don't know what the purpose of that thing is, but I don't like them. Yeah, I think that's got it. All right, so last one. We grabbed a stick with a trillion freaking ants on this thing, so that's that's freaking sick, bud. Let's see, you gotta let it acquire signal, and we should be good to go. All right, looks like we're good. Signal's there, server's good. Let's go ahead and close this guy up. I think that should be lined up. Boom! Hi! All the trail cameras are out, folks. It's hot, it's sweaty, there's ants everywhere and we're at places they shouldn't be right now. And uh, we're gonna let these things sit for about a week for you guys, just to really see. Yeah, I can see the red light on, we're good. It should be should be taking pictures and recording and doing trail camera things. Um, we're gonna let these rip for a week and we're gonna come back and check them for you guys and sit down and review the footage. So, see you guys in a week. Well, folks, it's been, uh, it's been, oh, look at this, boys. Look at this, boys. That looks like old Mr. Deer Whisker Biscuit himself. I'm looking for any other, any other tracks. I don't see any, like, maybe potentially coyote and stuff. But their corn is gone, and the rock has been moved, and there is some prints right there. But it's been six days now since we set these out. Pull Jet's back. How's it going? It's going great. You're killing it? Oh, yeah. Big vacation guy. Big vacation no, guy. Banjo. Both these guys are big vacation guys. Anyways, um, so we're going to grab the footage off of this camera here and see what it captured. And hopefully it's got some good footage for us. Maybe we see some bucks. Maybe we see some does. We're not really sure. But having six days out here, I feel like was enough time to really, if there was like some really native deer as in like they live right in here i feel like at some point we're gonna see all of them hopefully on all these cameras so i did bring my laptop and so we are gonna do an on-site visual of it because then if we start seeing them i'm gonna put the sd card back in the camera and just let it rip that way we can kind of keep an eye on it if there is a big buck you know kind of keep track of buddy and see kind of what time he's coming out and stuff like that so let's check the camera footage all righty folks here goes oh gosh look oh my gosh look Ooh. at all the boys Boys, we're gonna be here hundreds. for a while. There's hundreds of clips. So the cameras work, that is a good, this is better than most of our camera, uh, trail camera adventures. We're just gonna have to start ripping through a couple of these. Okay, all right, we got we got a doe, nice size doe. Mama. I'm just gonna have to, I might not play all the clips because there's just so many, unless we see like a buck. So we got a doe, that's good. Not sure why it says it's October 2nd, but it just does, oh, it's because I didn't set that up. I probably should have done that, but it's okay. So, dude, this thing just rapid fire records. Oh, what is that guy? Rabbit. Isn't that a rabbit, ain't it? Yep, a little bunny. Hey, look at you think that's Jimothy? You think you gotta have his case? Ain't big chungus. You don't think that's that? little chungus? <laughs> look at that little guy. All right, so a rabbit. So rabbits like the corn too. That's nice. Okay, so now we're dealing in the daylight. Okay, now we're back to nighttime with chungus. Oh, what's the strat here? <laughs> that's gotta be a deer, right? What do you think, buddy's doing? He's like back it up it. a little bit. All right, I'm not. I'm still not sure what this is. Is it? 
Is there potentially a stick or something? Because I feel like, do you think that's a ghost? I don't know. Okay, now we're back to daylight. Oh, we got a daylight picture right there. Look at this. Boom. That's good. I, now I'm regretting not setting up the proper date and stuff. Like, I just rushed into it. I should have actually set it up because then we would kind of know the time. But all I know is we got a doe on the property. Okay, now we're back with this ghost guy. Not sure what his strat is. It's got to be a stick when the wind blows. You think so? I don't know. I don't see a stick, though. It might be a tall piece of grass. See the grass moving? Maybe it is a tall piece of grass. Maybe know. you're right. Okay, let's keep going. Maybe that's what a lot of the... Oh, hey, how's it going? Another deer. I wonder if it's the same same one. Could potentially. Be. Yeah. Okay, she's just ripping. She's hanging out. Whoa. I feel like Whoa. we're in a rave. It's going... It, it's because it's the sun. Sun either... I think yeah. it's probably coming up. It's going kind of in between them. Okay, so she's just... Wow. She I mean, now it. I understand why we have no corn left. Dude, she's back every night. Literally every night. This this is like a... Oh, hey, how's it going? What's this guy doing? Oh, that was Chungus. You see him <laughs> hauling ass? Okay, Chungus is ripping. Oh, the dogs came up here. Oh, look at that little deer. <gasps> look at the baby. Lucy's bigger than that. That is... Okay, so that was one night, 120. Okay, so there was a little bit. Well, like a one hour difference. So apparently my dogs came up here at some point. That's freaking sick. <laughs> Oh, look at the spots on oh, it. Oh, yeah. He's so cute. Oh, Bambi. Look at Bambi. Oh, that's so adorable. That's so cute. And then look at Big that's Mama. Yo. <laughs> she look at her. She's... <laughs> Dude, this camera is on X game mode, though. Like, the amount of footage we have, it is, like, consistently every night. So many. I mean, it is just, like, constant. See, yeah, the mama, the mama and the baby right here. Where's the dad, though? Yeah, we need Papa. The thing is, as long as Mama is here during the rut, Papa will be there. Yeah. So, as long as we can keep her content and happy. Dude, they're just... They're living their best life. I, look at her. <laughs> She's making faces That's at us right now. That's a good selfie. Look at her. <laughs> She's kind of cute. All right, we'll keep going. Dude, the amount of footage is absolutely incredible. I cannot believe this. Look, at, I've never had a trail camera do this. Wait. Oh, oh buddy. No. Buddy showed up, big boy. Okay, he's not big boy. Little boy. Little, little boy. Little, little boy. <laughs> little boy. <laughs> but hey, a buck is a buck, all right? That's a good sign that we've got a buck nearby. Almost a shooter. You think so? Look at <laughs> look at that guy. <laughs> That's like a three and a half point or something. Really? Yeah, four point. Oh, five point. <laughs> What's a shooter? A six point, I think. Yeah, three by three. Oh, we're getting there. Pretty close. A couple more years. Keep going. That's such a, a weird looking rack on that yeah. guy, though. A little nubs. Okay, I mean, I w as long as there's a buck, I feel like that's a good thing. Again, because. If the mama's there with another buck, then the bigger bucks will come by later. So, all right. So, buddy, just he made himself red right at home. Okay, we got another mama, another baby. Dude, this is. Oh, what was going on there? That's the same guy. Checking out that ass. Look at that. Oh yeah, dude. These. So we have pet deer essentially. I mean, the, this is absolutely insane. I had no idea that there would be this many clips. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of clips of these same deer, but. Like I said, on good note, at least his camera is working. That gives me faith for checking the rest of them. Obviously, these guys live nearby. I mean, they're here every night, every day, multiple times. I mean, okay, we're back at night. Okay, might be her again. Not sure. It's kind of that's the thing with the does. It's kind of hard to tell. Like bucks, you can tell based off their horns if it's the same one. But so, oh, I think that's it. Boom. Well, lots of footage. I mean, a lot of footage. We're gonna throw the SD card right back in there and let it rip just to keep an eye on it to see if there's any more big bucks that come into play. But we still have like four more cameras to check, so you guys stay tuned. Shoo! All right, folks, made to the next spot. What's going on here, bud? Ew, that white stuff. Ew, that's mold. It looks like. Yeah. yeah. But they definitely ate all the corn and there's deer. and there's yeah deer footprints right there. So we've got a camera set up right here, and we're again we're gonna do the same thing: review the footage and hopefully we got some biggins on there. All right, camera number two. What do we got here? I mean, an obnoxious amount of footage. This is good. These cameras right now are, are performing very well. So we're just going to do the same thing. And kind of, oh, hey, how's it going? Oh, hey, dear. So we got doe. Guess she, we need to point them down a little more. I was going to say, it's sitting... Where's, I didn't think that one was sitting that high, but it's sitting a little bit high. So it's definitely going to miss some low ground stuff, which, I mean, for deer purposes, that's okay. Just another doe, it looks like. Yeah, we, we set that camera way way too high. Yeah. Get, get, gotta get used to the angles on the, the angle of the dangle is important with the cameras. But just another little Bambi. Big tree guy, huh? I guess. Wow, big tree guy. Those trees were getting it. Well, yeah, it seems like we're, 
like up in this hill's face. Um, we needed an angle more down the path. We kind of, we must have botched on the angle yeah. of that. Oh, hey, how's it going? Oh, there's a deer. Dude, that was, from the time I took my truck down there, that was like 12 minutes later. It was later. following you. It was following me out. He's like, all right, buddy's leaving. I'm going to go eat this corn real quick. A lot of does on the property. Again, not a bad thing, especially if you can keep the does around. A bird? Oh. oh, no, buddy's going on mountain hiking. He went up that way. That's weird. All right, keep going, keep going. So far, lots of does. Poor camera angles and lots of does. I mean, dude, they just just live here. I mean, they are just sticking around. Yeah. I mean, buddy's been here for like two hours. Okay, keep going. Oh, the deer's back. It's, so it's, It might just literally be this one doe. I mean, it looks like essentially the same deer. Yeah. This entire time. And trees. Lots of trees. Got a lot of trees going on right now. Oh, oh, oh we got buck. the buck. Is that Bucky? That is Bucky. That's that's the same one because he's got three yeah. and then two. So he's he's adventuring on both sides of the property here. Just a little... So maybe that's the same... It could doe. be the same doe. And you don't see the baby because the camera, our camera angle, yeah. we messed up on that. <laughs> he is just a little stubby guy though. So, I mean, at least he can't... What's this guy doing? Same guy, looks like. Yeah, it looks about like it. Yeah. Okay, keep gripping. Oh, who's that? Nope, another doe. Lots of little guys, though. No biggins. But we are also just on the main path by the house. I mean, we stuck a few deeper in the woods. And in my opinion, being a deer expert myself, killed a lot. Uh, oh, there's Banjo. How you doing? What's the time? Oh, so, so at 7 a.m. this morning, that buck was here. And then at 10 a.m., you were here. Dang. So, look at you guys, both in the same spot. Same spot. spot. You must think like a buck, huh? I guess. Anyways, nothing too crazy. On to the next. Phew! All right, make it to the next spot. You see any tracks, Banjo? I'm surprised there's no tracks right here. There's, I mean, normally without putting putting bait or cameras or whatever, there's usually tracks in here. But it did rain, so if nothing came by here in the last two days, it probably washed away the print. So we've got another camera here. This spot I like because there's actually a tree stand over there. Uh, I didn't hang up there, but the previous owners did. And so, I mean, if we end up seeing some big bucks in here, there's at least cover here. The other spots, they're not really huntable spots. I mean, they're literally just out in the open but this one you could hang a tree stand and you could you could sit up in that tree and shoot a deer that comes walking on this path so like this is more of like a hunting area um than the other two so we'll see what we got all right here we go with number three decent amount not quite as much as the rest but decent okay boom wow right away right away so like three hours after we set it out the little mama's there we got some little mama action okay she's munching we probably didn't put as much corn on this one. Yep, mama. Oh, oh. and the baby. We got we got Bambi out here. That's so a bigger baby. You think you don't think that's the same one? It as looks the top taller. Of the really? So we just have like a whole freaking neighborhood of deer out here, I guess. Yep, doe. These are midday though. Like this yeah. is 11 a.m., which is interesting. Oh, well, there's my truck. Okay. So remember when my truck drove by? Yep. In 20, so it should, that was been the same one because right up the hill, yeah. and then the baby's with her, and the camera was set up too high. So gotcha. the other one had the baby on it. Yeah. It was just set up too high. So not a bad thing. Oh, is that Ricky? Son of a gun. You little son of a gun. Look at that guy. He's over there munching on the corn. You yeah. got to chop him. They're gonna, he's going to ruin the old corn strut. I can tell you that much because they, they love corn just about as much as deer. Oh my gosh, there's a family of them. Boys, look at... Rip to the quail. Rip to the ducks. These little sons of guns. Luckily, we're not like super close to the animals or anything. So don't think we're like baiting them near it. We're still a decent ways away. But the camera was setting up a little high. I mean, we, we set them up for deer, not raccoons. But there's some raccoons and a deer. Pretty much the same time. I just want big buck. I want big chungus to walk by. And that's... Oh, hey, that's me. Hey, guys. How are you doing? <laughs> well, we got Bambi, Doe, and some raccoons. We've got two more to check. One is on the pond dam, which I'm convinced there's going to be some big bucks down there. And then the second one is our predator trap. Not our trap. Predator setup, where hopefully we get a bobcat or a coyote on camera. Stay tuned. Shoot! All right, so here we go. Oh God, they destroyed it. Look for prints. Look at this. Yeah. But that was the pre we had the predator set right here. Oh yeah, it's dug out. I don't think we left it quite just like that. Like there would have been like some muck and gunk yeah. in there, potentially some some something over there maybe. But I don't see <laughs> what happened. Buddy, I actually touched his butt. <laughs> I felt something. I was like, whoa. Right, that's for a different yeah, channel. Calm yeah. down. We're gonna grab this camera, check it out, see what we got. Okay, here's some beefcakes. That looks like a deer. Oh, our angle was way off on that one too. Hey, oh. hey, hey, Jimmy, how you doing? That's a good one. I don't think we're going to see any predators. Our angle is off. 
We're sit. We were. It was shooting. That's so crazy. It look. It looks lower than it is. But so we need to higher and angle it. Like, we need to higher and angle angle it lower. Like it's fine for deer, but to get the coyotes, I don't think it's. Uh... Oh, dude, Bambi's out here too. Hell of Bambi's. Yeah, the angle for deer is good. We messed up on the coyote angle, I think. Hopefully, the other one we did. A lot of grass. There. A lot of. Yeah, we angled it right at the. We should have made it go down the path. Is what we should have done. Mm. So like what what they tell you, especially like like most actually literally will tell you how to set up. You're not supposed to like point it directly at it. Like if there's a trail, you're supposed to like set it down the trail, which we didn't do here. Uh, big mistake, I guess. Because now it's just. I mean, we get a lot of deer. Don't get me wrong, we got a lot of deer going on. But we had a coyote in bobcat set, and I just am not sure if there's going to be any. You'll never know. We'll reset it. I mean, that's what we've been doing. Resetting them all, and then point the camera down a little bit. Dude, this deer is just. Three o'clock in the afternoon, just booling. All right, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. A lot of grass, and that's us. We botched the angle again. We're we're confident. There's an excessive amount of deer around here, which is good. No giant bucks though. One more camera. The final predator camera was literally exclusively made to get predators on camera, which is only, we didn't put any corn or anything like that. I'm hoping we got the angle of the dangle right on this one because I'm thinking we're gonna get something, hopefully bobcat or coyote. Shoo! All right, last spot folks, here we go. The old predator looking area. Uh, how's it looking, Banjo? I don't, are we even gonna be able to find where? Oh, it was definitely right there. I can't remember what we did to it. You put some feathers and some other stuff. So how's our camera angle looking? Oh, it's I'm point, I'm looking right at it. And I think they would honestly come down from right there. So fingers are crossed. Hope we got a little predator on this camera. There's a good chance this has nothing. There's a good chance it's got something. It's got something. Oh whoa! Oh snap, boys! You better buckle up. Better not be all grass. This is uh. Oh, oh hey, go back going. to that. Go back to that. What was that? Is that a deer butt? That was a deer butt. Huh? What tree is this? Oh, hang on. Sorry, this was uh, the night I was setting it up. Oh, now we're so good. Cute. I was so confused. I was like, is that Lucy? Okay, here we go. Oh, God, yeah. Hell yeah. Lots of grass. Good, good, good. Oh, oh. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's Chungus. Son of a gun, Chungus is always on to us. We can't get away. We can't escape the Chungus. Okay, we got Chungus on cam. That's good. Big predator. Oh. Raccoons! Why is the camera moving so much? I think Buddy's Buddy's climbing the pole right now. Right, dude. He's pole dancing or something. He's sniffing. Freaking raccoons. Son of a gun. I mean, it is a predator. It is a predator. Not exactly the one we're after, but it is a predator. Ooh, oh, multiple. we got two. We got two of them. Two raccoons. Lots of raccoons. Hey, dear. How you doing? Big grass guy. A lot of grass going on so far, but we have gotten some predators at night, which is when the predators are going to come out. That's it. Banjo, we got outsmarted by the bobcats again. Oh, bobcats. What, on, if we want to do this right, we got to cut the grass, I feel like, because it's, yeah. one, it's, you know, it's it's impacting the camera, but then it's also making it probably harder for us to see. Like, I mean, bobcats are pretty sneaky. They could be crawling through that grass really low and getting over there and sniffing without us even really seeing it. I feel like we need to, like, mow it down, dig a deep hole, and get something that makes them stay for a little bit longer. But we did see raccoons. We didn't see any coyotes. We didn't see any bobcats. That doesn't mean that they're not out here. We need to go, probably honestly, go further back into the woods and do some more legit traps not traps i keep saying traps but like sets like we would trapping where you dig a hole and you put some bait in them and we just literally threw some bait on the ground and poured some bobcat pier on it and that was pretty much all we really did but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode i know it was you know nothing too crazy exciting but we we want to see what we're dealing with which what we know as of right now and you guys are going to kind of keep with us as we progress is we've got a little buck we've got a decent sized doe and we've got a little baby and essentially that's what we've we think we've got now do i think it was one doe the entire time probably not because i mean we walked a long ways my guess is that there were some does over here some does down there and some does up by the house no bucks yet we're going to keep the cameras rolling if you guys like these videos let me know in the comment section down below and if you guys have any suggestions on how to attract big bucks to the property to get them on camera also let me know in the comment section down below hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks so much for the